Hi everyone, welcome back to Jumpstart for Jesus. Hearing the word of God brings faith and faith brings fruitfulness. Join us for a life transforming church service in Basilia Fellowship at King's Banquet Hall behind Grace Church Margaon every Sunday from 9 to 10:45 a.m. morning. Come and you will be blessed. So God's love is <laughs> unconditional. but god's blessings are conditional. conditional so if you want god's blessings to come into your life you have to meet a certain condition and when you meet that condition the blessings come into your life hallelujah, hallelujah. praise god when kitli dan isaac ka karta isaac from the bible ha kono shazar sob isaac ha ta ka murcha Isaac from the Bible okay Abraham had a son whose name was Isaac during the time of Isaac praise god there was a famine jadna Isaac aslo tinga kenana tadna famine ele ani famine ele tadna Isaac an chitle au jito uttolo jalar maka i kenan sorun Egypt a kosan pottole look at me So Canaan upon Sodom, Egypt had also been portal. So Isaac uh, thought that I will leave Canaan and go to Egypt. While he was preparing to go to Egypt, God spoke to him. Praise God! Praise and God. God said, "So in this very land, and I will make you increase." Praise God. Praise so there was a condition, guys. Le, Isaac. Ani ka Isaac ka sang le tu yet zagya che roitolo. Ata te zagya famine ablo le. There was famine in that land. Famine means no water, no rain, nothing. The ground was dry. The ground was broken, which means there was no way in the physical realm that if you sow a seed, the seed will. Bro, be suke zomnir gailer kilota? No. Kilota suke zomnir. Does the seed grow on a dry land? No. No. So there was no way the seed could grow on the dry land. But God said to him, "If you sow in this dry land, I will make it multiply." Amen. Alleluia. Deva kollen tarjo peto ya. Today. God is saying the same thing. If you sow in my kingdom, even though you don't see the rain, you don't see the water, yet I will make it grow a hundredfold. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is saying when you sow in my kingdom, there is marvelous blessings. I can make it just multiply 100 times, 200 times. 500 times hallelujah hallelujah praise god praise and god. then bible tells us that isaac sowed seed on the dry land hui hoile isaac and be hui gaile dry land dry land now imagine at that time when a person tries to leave that place kedna to munis to jago son osong sotta munche ata te jagar femi na ha So, जेदना famine starts जाता, तेदना तो सोडून होई तालो, ना, because he will wait to see if the famine is going, right? Yes. So he will wait for some time, then again he will wait for some time, then again he will wait. He will try to stay because nobody wants to leave their land. So Isaac also waited in that place in the famine for a long time before he decided to go to Egypt. which means when he decided to go to egypt he had only little remaining praise god sarke because jedna te gele sogle ahlo le te kabar jaupak eile tedna tacher birat eili and then he said no if i stay here i will die so i will go to egypt praise god praise which god. means jedna isaac acher पेज एलो कि हां या जाग्या चे रावलो जल्या मोपलो मुन तेदना तेने डिसाइड केले आपण इजिप्टा कोयतलो मुन बिकॉज़ देयर देयर वाज फूड 
but god said to him at that moment that you sow in this dry land which means god's word comes when you are in literally no way to move ahead praise god when you see yourself you are almost dead you have nothing in your pocket and that is the time god said to isaac isaac so what you have hallelujah hallelujah praise god this praise is a god. challenge god always puts this challenge to people to see their heart because god is concerned with the heart so that time there were are isaac akore thore aslo le ani dev mhanta te thore atle pasun tu zomner gal ani zomin suklori asa soglo ero pollolo asa zomnik ani isaac dewat chaita god you are telling me to sow on this land ye suklore zomne tumaka bi ure mukore thore she bi asa आणि हे थोडेसे बी माका इंगासन इजिप्टा कसो पुरो तितलेच असा आय हॅव ओनली दिस मच सीड व्हिच इज इनफ फॉर मी टू रीच इजिप्ट बिकॉज आय एम थिंकिंग इफ आय रीच इजिप्ट दे आय विल गेट मोर सीड बट गॉड इज सेइंग दिस लिटल व्हिच यू हॅव टू रीच इजिप्ट दैट यू सो हियर हालेलुया हालेलुया प्रेज गॉड प्रेज गॉड हालेलुया एंड आइजक इज सेइंग लॉर्ड एट योर वर्ड I will sow what I have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Act your word. So there was a condition of God that if you sow in this dry land, you will it will multiply. Praise God. Ata Isaac then be a slow lete rolo rolo oita crying crying he goes takes that seed and he comes and he sows on the dry land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah praise God and Bible says those who go weeping to sow shall come rejoicing with the harvest they see Hallelujah, Hallelujah. praise God so when you cry and still you sow the seed on the dry land at the word of God then when you see that God will make it grow it will produce a hundredfold harvest Amen. And when you see that harvest you will rejoice. Amen. Because that is the plan of God. Amen. That is the way God works. Hallelujah. And the Bible munta magir in Genesis 26 verse 12 is God. Okay? Now let's read together verse 12. Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a Hundred fold, hundred fold, and the Lord blessed him. Then, verse thirteen, the man began to prosper, prosper, and continued, continued prospering, prospering until until he became very prosperous, very prosperous. Very prosperous. Touch your neighbor and say, "Very prosperous." Very prosperous. Very prosperous. Very prosperous. God today wants to make you very prosperous. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The seed you sow into the kingdom of God will reap a hundredfold harvest. Amen. And it will make you very prosperous. Hallelujah praise God okay now if you see here there are three levels of prosperity he began to prosper continued prospering until he become very prosperous praise God so there are three levels of prosperity you can be prosperous and you can wait there or remain there but then there is another level where he says you continue to prosper which means you can grow more in prosperity and then you can just continue 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 but you are continuing but there is another level where he god says he became very prosperous so this is the level that god wants to take us as a church amen very prosperous his blessings are very prosperous his blessings are in abundance hallelujah deva kole tadyo betoya praise god Thank you Jesus. Okay, this is not my word. This is just the introduction. Let's get into the word now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, so today I will teach you all on the three levels of prosperity. 
let's go to 2 chronicles chapter 17 and how to get into this prosperity praise god thank you jesus hallelujah asa tumi jagi asa praise god deva kole tario petoya let's shout a greatest hallelujah see prosperity is god's blessing for the church praise god deva jai apli burgi apna sarki jaloli a god is rich who is saying a god is rich a god is rich a god is rich he says heaven and earth and all its fullness belongs to me that's what he says and if you are the hair of god tu tor erderi jale devacho jala sogle je devache asate mojen praise god hallelujah thank you jesus so let's go to the word see kingdom of god no kingdom of god no there are paths okay I always say this there are paths to every blessing there are paths for victory there are paths for success there are paths for healing praise god praise god praise god, praise god. Hallelujah. hallelujah and one important or oh, beautiful thing about god is once you step on that path and you start walking on that path success is sure yours victory is sure yours say amen. amen praise god so when you step on that path and you walk on that path you are sure to be victorious amen, amen. hallelujah why somebody asked why sarke why? <laughs> why because on that path success will ask a lift Well, because she is there on that path when god has designed a path he has already put success there on that path and jedna to dev vaten cholot hoitolo the success already thing up he is waiting for you amen amen the success is waiting for you the victory is waiting for you the prosperity is waiting for you so you cannot miss it when you are on that path you cannot miss it if you miss it it will not miss you amen somebody amen. shout hallelujah hallelujah praise god praise so god. even if you are on that path and even if you miss it by chance it will not miss you amen he will hold you and he'll say no please take me take me with you take me with you hallelujah hallelujah so very important is to remain on the path remain on the Path. path don't move aside from the path hallelujah, hallelujah. praise god praise just god. stick to that path cost ele tras ele difficulties ele problems ele no i will not go out because i know success is there amen hallelujah, hallelujah. i know victory is there amen. i will stick to that path and i keep walking walking until i reach there hallelujah hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah deva kole tariya beto ya praise god Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Deva kole tariya bito ya. Praise God. Okay, what the Bible says? Then Jehoshaphat his son reigned in the place of his father Asa and strengthened himself against Israel. Okay, this is in the Bible in the time of King Jehoshaphat. Okay? Te gele paicha na aslole Asa. Okay? Asa was the king. Jadna Asa melo, tedna te gelo chero, raza zalo. Okay, what happened? How he lived? Okay, so he became a king and he strengthened himself against Israel. Okay, let's go to verse 3. Let's read together now. Now, let's read together. Now, the Lord was with Savio. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's take each one take your name. Okay? Now the Lord was with Take your name, Savio, because he walked in the former ways of his father David. He did not seek Baals. Uh, scroll down please. But sought the God of his father and walked in his commandments and not according to the acts of Israel praise god okay scroll down little bit keep from 2 to 
फोर ओके प्रेज गॉड ओके नाउ हियर द चैप्टर सेवेंटीन इज डिवाइडेड इंटू थ्री पार्ट ओके आई एम डूइंग द टीचिंग थ्री पार्ट वे ही टेल्स अर्स अबाउट प्रॉस्परिंग कंटिन्यूइंग प्रॉस्परिंग and becoming very prosperous now this first three verses okay tells us about his own life how he changed praise god so very important in the kingdom of god when you first enter you matter to god say i matter to god i matter to god okay so first thing that happens is you matter to god so koili os mullar i am aka change karu pada prosperity etoli jalar devache besam etole jalar koile i am maka change karu pada okay now here it says how joseph had changed himself to the word of god he says now the lord was with joseph had because means condition why jo- lord was with joseph had okay why he was with him condition first one let's read together he walked in the former ways of his father david so first condition which he met was david in his days walked according to the will of god according to the voice of god the word of god praise god so joseph had then a study keli apno father david koso chollo to ani to davida bashin cholong laglo ata god says about david david is the man after my own heart own heart so david was the man after god's own heart munche david devache utol mullar sarke matya un oil dortalo hallelujah devache utol eile jale to kesso no left no right he was turning so he loved god so much he walked in the ways of god praise god so first thing that joseph had saw and did was he changed to walk in the commandments of god praise god very important devache utra parmane chalo poili os mage dusri let's go to second second what it says he did not seek for bals ata bals butai ta kono idols or other gods so second thing joseph the time che israel ak pasun te murtyan chi puja kotale ani te dusre devan chi puja kotale te desantle so second thing joseph did was he removed the idols he did not go after the idols for worship praise god he did not go seeking for other god to ask for anything he stick to his god he did what was right no matter what was happening just scroll up praise god the third thing he did was but sought the god of his father which means every time he wanted to do something jedna teka kitens korung jay aslole poylo to devacha mancha bolen hoitalo praise god first he went to the prophet first he went to god to ask whether it is right for me to do or not praise god praise hallelujah god. very important our decisions have to come from god if the decisions don't come from god then we just go wandering here and there praise god praise hallelujah god. thank you jesus okay so the third thing he did was he always went to the god of his father next walked in his commandments and not according to the acts of israel so next he did was he walked according to the commandments of god praise god, praise god. Hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus then it says then he did not do the acts of israel acts of israel mulla kite israel ak te azun pasun murtyanchi puja kotale they were worshiping idols they were sacrificing their own children to the idols they were doing lot of things now also in the world there are lot of things traditions of men कळे नो जाय ते फंक्शन असता जाय ते वस्तु असता जो देवाच्या उतराचे आड आणि आम्ही पासून तेच करीत असता जायते पावटी आम्ही कोण ना बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ गॉड गॉड हॅज फेवर्ड अस 
so we are not doing it but the world is doing it so bible says jehoshaphat te sansar kotta toshen konaklolo to fokot dewak jai toshen kottalo praise god hallelujah so these uh, four things five things he did and then what was the result of doing these things let's read together verse 5 therefore therefore so only read korea please therefore the lord established the kingdom in his hand and all judah gave presents to jehoshaphat and he had riches and honor in abundance in Abundance. abundance so because he followed the word because he seeked the god because he did not do according to the things that the world is doing god established his kingdom Amen. praise god Amen. now establishing king mera kitne establish karo apne liye kitne he put him in a place where money was coming naturally supernaturally Praise God. Praise he God. put him in a place, just place it. Take a calm, 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 calm. Let him. Why should automatic look? Ah, that over back lag lo. I'm just peak. If I just circle solve that lah. So odd peak. Or tell him, I need a raja. Did tell him. Mun tell him, King. We have too much harvest this year. Half of it, please take for the king. They were saying. Yeah, yeah. Lo, I tell him. Mun tell him. This year, I have too much oil. I want to give it to the king so they were bringing the oil and giving to the king then another one saying to this year I have too much sheep so he was taking half of the sheep and going and giving to the king so king was not doing anything he did not have to work but all his riches and honor was coming from his kingdom Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Praise God! Praise so God. the moment you start walking in the word of God, walking according to the will of God, God puts you in a place where your abundance comes supernaturally. Amen. From places where you don't know, you don't imagine. Praise God! So first thing He says, Lord established the kingdom in His hand. Then all Judah give gifts or presents to Savio. Hallelujah! Praise God. Praise God. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, so Jesus. it is like that. People start giving gifts to you. People start bringing blessings into your life and you become rich and prosperous, okay? Mm-hmm. So this is the first level of prosperity where God establishes you in your business. God establishes you in your house. God establishes you in your uh, health. God establishes you wherever you go. and you become established your business is established your work is established your uh, strategies for finances to come into your life are established amen hallelujah, hallelujah. praise god praise thank god. you jesus let's go scroll up okay so let's read together and his heart let's read together and his heart took delight in the ways of the lord moreover he removed the high places and wooden images of juda the second thing that you have to do is clean your kingdom first thing clean yourself second thing start cleaning your kingdom means whichever place where you have your authority you have to start cleaning it that is the second level where you are going so it shows ये दाखोयता की तू ऑलरेडी रेडी जाता की दुसऱ्या लेव्हला वसपाक सो फर्स्ट थिंग यू ट्रान्सफॉर्म युअर सेल्फ चेंज युअर सेल्फ क्लेन्स युअर सेल्फ अँड देन यू गो अँड से अरे ये धटी हा हे काळे भार उडयले दुसरा गेलो थिंग गेलो अरे तू एशको रोबा ना फाल्सोन यू कॅन नॉट स्पीक लाइक दिस इफ यू स्पीक लाइक दिस आई विल थ्रो यू आउट सो स्टार्ट क्लीनिंग युअर किंगडम युअर हाऊस व्हॉट एव्हर धटीनेस इज देअर आ माका सारखी कामाचे पासून मुकाले जायना हे मुगेले टेबल सारखे चिकलाचे असा आय डोंट फाइंड थिंग्स अराउंड आय विल रिमूव इट व्हॉट बिलॉंग्स टू गॉड आय विल गिव्ह टू गॉड व्हॉट बिलॉंग्स टू समवन इफ आय हॅव टेकन समथिंग आय विल गिव्ह इट बॅक सो स्टार्ट पुटिंग थिंग्स इन प्लेस दॅट इज अ सेकंड लेव्हन जोसेफ हॅथ ही सेड हिज हार्ट टूक डिलाइट in the ways of the lord moreover ata ata to itlo mche he was so happy with things happening around him that he got up from his throne and said god is blessing me so much so let's now start cleaning the kingdom 
Praise God. So he went and started the kingdom cleaning. He removed every high place. Mujhe hui idol worship kutta leche sogal zagya molun udhe. Zui idol zastro leche karun udhe. So he started cleaning his kingdom. Praise God. When he started cleaning his kingdom, praise God. And then he started sending. Okay, that is the second level where he started. Uh, cleaning the kingdom now i don't want to tell you the result of the that i will tell later then what he said also in the th- let's read together also in the third year of his reign he sent his leaders ben helia obedia zakaria nathaniel and mikaya to teach in the cities of juda okay scroll down please Let's read nine together. So they taught in Judah and had the book of law of the Lord with them. They went throughout all the cities of Judah and taught the taught the people. Praise God! Hallelujah! Okay. So what happens is first he cleans himself, then he cleans the kingdom. Now he says, all the people all stand here in line. I want to check your nails. <laughs> If your nails are long or short, I want to see whether you are shaved or not. Praise God. So third thing he started doing was he he started cleaning the people in his kingdom. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. So this is the third level where he went and what happens when he start doing this? We'll read. Now, uh, go down please. From 10 we will read together. Okay, and the let's read together. And the fear of the Lord fell on all the kingdoms of the lands that were around Judah, so that they did not make war against Jehoshaphat. What did Jehoshaphat do? Did he do anything to make the people fear? No. Kitan kela the ne? Kain kela the ne? He only started cleaning himself. His land, his people, and Bible says the fear came upon his enemies. Fear came upon the neighbors. Automatic. When you clean yourself, when you clean your land, when you clean your people, automatically fear comes on the other person. Are you? Oh, kitko ta suddenly? Are you? So many change zala, so many news zala, new order zala, so many. Are you? Muncha hai the poil. Ah, but ali aat sakhi respect ko ta. Please come in, sir. What hai? What happened? Something changed. So the fear goes on the people neighboring them. What happened? What happened? Something happened. So when you change yourself, when you change your kingdom, when you change the people around you, everything changes, and the fear goes to the neighboring people. Then what happened? Let's see. Let's read verse te- eleven. Also, some of the Philistines brought Jehoshaphat presents. And silver as tribute, and the Arabians brought him flocks, seven thousand seven hundred rams, and seven thousand seven hundred male goats. Praise God! Let's stop here. Philistines were the enemies of Israel. Praise God! So second level was where the fear went on the neighboring lands. Now third thing it says they started bringing presents to him. Praise God! Kita kela thene. He did not fight. He only cleaned himself, cleaned the land, and cleaned the people of the land. And now already his enemies are bringing gift for him to tell him, please don't fight with us. They are making friendship with him, which means he is settled with prosperity now. He has become very prosperous. There is no enemy who can fight him. There is no riches can overtake him because those who are rich are bringing into his kingdom and saying, "Please take this and don't fight with me. Please take this and keep us away. Stay away from us." Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. So the important thing is us, we, I, myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Praise God. Praise so God. then, what it says? Let's read to be twelve together. So, Savio became increasingly powerful. So, Joseph became increasingly powerful, 
and he built fortresses and strong cities storage cities in juda hallelujah so because of this he started becoming very prosperous he did not have anything to do now people are bringing uh, story people are bringing presents now the enemies are bringing presents so many presents aap kit korpa pole presents tor dal moto gozu gorang lugar na a door pak he he doesn't have place in his house to keep the presents now what he has to do he has to build storerooms praise god praise i god. pray this blessing to come upon your life praise that as you walk in the ways of god as you walk on this path of righteousness god will make you increase Amen. abundantly increase Amen. and powerful that you will have to increase your territory Amen. increase your storerooms Amen. increase your barns so that abundance will flow into your life Amen. and you will be increasingly powerful Amen. hallelujah Amen. praise god Praise Thank God. you Jesus. So this is the blessing God is waiting to give you as we walk. So first sanctify yourself, then sanctify your kingdom. Third, teach your people, teach your house in your family, your children, your husband, your wife, your uh, neighbor, your parents and those who are living with you, your workers. Teach them the ways of god and god will make you prosper amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus thank you, okay jesus. let's go down to finish scroll down okay and then verse 13 let's read together he, he had much property much property in, in the, the cities, cities of judah, judah. and the, the man of war, war mighty man of valor were in jerusalem we will not read any further we will stop here what it says these men from where did they come where were these men where the other kings were there suddenly god started bringing people in his life who blessed him he mighty man of valor means they could do anything suddenly jab muni sasant nai the kingdom ak te gele suddenly muni se pak lagle and they were ready to do anything for him so when you walk in the ways of god god will bring people in your life who will come and say please tell me what to do amen. i want to serve you amen they will be like genies in your life amen amen so they will say kya hukum hai mere aaka <laughs> you see god's plans are great amen god wants to bring people into your life who will bless you abundantly amen. praise god praise thank god. you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah so i am ready for the blessing yes say i am blessed i am blessed i am walking i am walking in the ways of god in the ways of god god will make me god will make me prosperous prosperous continue prospering continue prospering until i become until i become very prosperous very prosperous very prosperous, very prosperous. in the name of jesus in the name of jesus everyone say amen and everyone say amen, amen. let's stand